All right, geometry 10-8, equations of circles. This is going to complete chapter 10. This will be the last section. And so let's get to it. So I'm going to put up here the equation of the circle. Okay, through the magic of technology, I can write that up there really quickly. Um, so we're starting with the center of HK. They're just going to let the center be represented by two different values, H and K. And that gives our formula as X minus H squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, which r is for the radius. So let's start at the centers, or at the circle's uh, very basic form. Let's say my center is 0, 0, which is the origin. And I have a radius of 5. Okay, so I'm going to take x minus 0, just substituting in h and k, and then that's going to be y minus 0 equals, notice that we're squaring everything. So obviously x minus 0 is just x, so that's going to be x squared plus y squared equals 25. So anytime a circle has its center at the origin, it will just be x squared plus y squared, and then I want to square the radius. So this would be the equation for that circle. And so let's move on to one where the radius, excuse me, where the center is not going to be at the origin. So let's say, and I'm just making this up, let's say the center Sorry about that. I was recording while the uh, announcements were coming on and had to pause for the Pledge of Allegiance and the flag salute. So let's take a center of, um, let's just make one up here. Let's call it negative 5, 4. And let's say the radius is, let's go crazy here and say it's the square root of 15. Okay? So over here I'm going to have my equation formula, or my circle formula x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. Now, I can identify h and k right away. h is negative 5, and k is 4. And then my radius is the square root of 15. I don't like that. There we go. So now let's plug it in. I'm going to have x minus h, okay, careful on the signs, and y minus k, and then I'm going to take the square root of 15 and square it. Let's see if I can drag that over a little bit. I don't, there we go. I don't like that being so close to the edge. Okay, so... Minus a minus, that's going to be um, a plus. So that's going to be x plus 5 squared plus y minus 4 squared equals, now, what is the square root of 15 squared? And hopefully you are saying to yourself that is 15. So that's what it looks like. Again, if its center is at the origin, it's just going to be x squared, y squared. But if its center is anywhere else, then your formula will um, will turn out to be an x plus or a y minus. Okay, so of course you know they're gonna they're gonna stretch your mind just a little bit. So what if they don't tell us what the radius is? So let's look at a problem where they're going to give us um, they're gonna give us where the center is. So let's say the center is at negative two four. Okay, center is at negative 2, 4. And let's say it passes through point negative 6, 7. Okay, so if it passes through point negative 6, 7, that means that point negative 6, 7 is on the outside of my circle. So I will need to find the distance from the center to that point to find out what my radius is. Okay, so distance formula tells me 
that I'm going to take x2 minus x1, so that's going to be negative 6 minus a negative 2 squared plus y2 minus y1, which is going to be 7 minus 4 squared. So my distance is, that's going to be negative 6 plus 2, which is negative 4. Negative 4 squared is 16. And then 7 minus 4 is 3. 3 squared is 9. So that gives me my distance is the square root of 25, which in this case I know is 5. So now I have a center of negative 2, 4. And I have a radius of 5. So plugging that into my formula, that's going to be x minus a negative 2 plus y minus 4, both of those squared, and then equals the radius squared. So that's going to end up being x plus 2 squared plus y minus 4 squared equals 25. And so you can look at the uh, top of page 745, and that is example number 2. Okay? So now, let's go back the other direction. Let's say that I have this equation. And now I'm giving you the circle equation. I want you to tell me where the center is. And I want you to tell me what the radius is. So now we're just working backwards. We know that through our formula x minus h that we're going to take the opposite value. So I know that my center is going to have a value of 4, negative 1. Again, I just put, took the opposite of negative 4 and the opposite of positive 1. And to find my radius, I just take the square root of 9, which is going to be 3. Okay? So that's about 8 minutes. Chapter 10, Section 8, Equations of Circles.